Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a different type of video. It's not a makeup tutorial. It's not a tag. It's a story time. It's going to be creepy. And these stories that I'm about about to tell you, I didn't personally like experience them. It's all my mom and my grandma, but she just she's told me these stories like growing up and everything. So, like I remember them and I was talking to her yesterday and she kind of like told me about them again. And I thought I'd share them with you because they're really interesting and creepy. And people like to see that, see like scary videos, like story times and stuff. So I thought I'd make them. And um, obviously not me because I haven't experienced anything, anything creepy. Because, um, well, little creepy things. But like, that's just my mind playing games because I get scared really easy. Um, so let's just get right into the video before I talk. Because I, I talk way too much sometimes and it's like not even funny. But let's just get right into it. And this, these three stories are going to be about La Llorona. And if you have not heard about her, La Llorona, which in English is the weeping woman, because I, I searched this on Google, because I wouldn't know what, I was like, the crying lady, it's, it's the weeping woman. And it's a legend of this lady. Well, there's a lot of stories behind this legend. Like, people, they're, like they're, I know three of these stories that people say that are like true, but you just never know. And I actually did go on Google and searched the real, um, the real, the true story or the real legend of like the Yorona and I found one and I feel like it might be real or might be not but I'm just gonna tell you. So the Weeping Woman is, in case you don't know, um, it happened in Mexico and these three, actually these three stories are gonna take place in Mexico. One of the first... The first story I'm going to tell you about that people say it's true, um, it's either, the first one is people say that she was poor and she couldn't feed her children so um, she felt really bad and she was like miserable so she killed her, so she took her kids to the river and like threw them and they drowned and then that she regretted it and then she started like um, begging like where are kids, you know like I miss hijos but in like English would be like um, where's my children or, or I want my children or something like that and a second the second story people say is that um, her kids were playing in the river and then they just they drowned and she couldn't find them so like you know she like died she like killed herself and then like started like wandering around and trying to find her kids and the third one which is the one I found on Google and they said that, that one was like the real one is that she was um she got married, she had kids, and her husband started, like, kind of distancing away from her, and he just paid attention to her, the kids, and the kids were, like, his main, like, atten like, all his attention went to her, went to his kids, and he didn't care about his wife anymore. She got really angry and decided to, um, and supposedly that she saw him with another woman, like, they were passing by, and he just greeted his kids, and was talking to his kids and totally ignored her which I don't know if this is true but that she got really really angry and she got tired of not of him not paying attention to her and just her kids so she decided and she grabbed her kids and just threw them in the in the river and they drowned and when she realized that it was wrong and she like she regretted it and so she tried to go um she went running down to the river and tried to take them out but it was too late and so the next morning like people found her by the river and she killed herself because of what she did and from there on like people just see her around like in the dark or by the rivers or like anywhere like that is lonely and dark and they hear her like crying for her kids and I actually saw a video on Facebook of someone recording it and like people say it's, it's fake but when I heard that I'm not even kidding you. It sounded so bad. Like, I couldn't sleep for, like, a few days. Because it was that horrible. Like, it just scared the crap out of me. And, um, I don't know if it was true. So, I don't know if it was real. So, I showed my mom. And she's, like, and my dad, because they've heard her before. And they're, like, that's exactly how she sounds. And, like, we just got goosebumps listening to her again. It was just so creepy. And, um... I would like 
put like a video of it in, the, in here, but it's, I'm scared, I can't listen to it anymore. It's just really, really scares the crap out of me. So just try to like YouTube it. I don't know if it'll come out on YouTube or not. Um, if I find it on YouTube, I'll link it below. But um, if I don't, then like, oh well, but I'll try to find it because it's just, it sounds really, really, really like, like her voice is like, sounds like so creepy and like so much pain. Like, I don't know, but I don't know. Anyways, um, so um, that's like the backstory of like the legend. And okay, so that's it. Let's go into the stories. So there's three stories and um, I'm going to tell you the first one. And this one happened when mom, when my mother was a little younger and she went over to her aunt's house, which is um, her mom's sister's house and they kind of live um by like it's not it's not super lonely like around the like where she actually lives but if you grow if you go like further up because like there's a lot of mountains like a lot of like like a lot of like subidas like i don't know how you would say in, Sp in like, english but like where she lived like the street will go like up like it was like like that like going up and obviously it's like mountain so um so she lived around there and there was like people living around so it wasn't that lonely but the more you go up it starts there, there's less like houses and it's more like land so um one day she went over to her um aunt's house and there were like her aunt her uncles um all her like siblings were there like my aunts and my uncles were there with her like and her cousins and they were all there and they decided to go for like a picnic or something and so they went where they went a little more up by where um her aunt lived and um i guess there was like mongos there or something and they were like picking them or something like that but so they were just chilling there with all the her uncles her aunts and all the kids and the kids some of the kids decided that they wanted to go like just play around run around so they went off mom actually just she stayed with the other grown-ups so she didn't go um and one of her uncles decided to go with the kids and so they went off and when they were and where they were going it that it's like just land and it's really lonely and there's trees and there's a river so and then they decided to just to get in the river and get wet so they were in the river just swimming whatever they were doing and then either i don't know who saw the who saw it first the kids or my and mom's uncle i don't know and that the kids like they were playing and they just they they turn around and they see this lady in black in long long hair all dressed in black like not in the water she was like right over the water like floating over the water and that they were they just like stood there like like what the hell is like what's this you know really freaked out and then like the uncle will saw it and they're like hurry up get out of the water get out of the water so they got out and they were like, all like so scared and like crying so like they they go they, they come running back and they go back to where everybody was at and they, they told them what happened and um and that obviously it was la llorona that they saw and she was in all black and it's weird because some people see her in all black and some people see her in all white so i don't know but um, that, that day they saw her she was floating on top of the river and they, they, couldn't, they couldn't see the face it was just long hair and all black floating and they just ran out of there and that, my mom told me that that, that that night they they all slept like in the same room or whatever and that the kids were just like crying and crying and they, they were so scared and so terrified they couldn't sleep all night and so yeah that's like the first story and, and it's Oh, it just gives me the goosebumps. And the second story, um, and my mom actually experienced herself. Um, so this was when she, um, when she got, when she barely got married. And it wasn't the same day she got married, but it was like a few weeks after she got married. So when they got married, they, they both, they decided, even though my mom really didn't want to go, but they both came, it came down to mom having to go live up in the ranch with my dad in what was my grandparents um house but they gave it to my dad and to my mom and so that was where they were gonna live and 
up in the ranch, like the ranch is really like there's houses there and there's like a church and everything, but there is sections. There some houses are far apart. Some are kind of close, but some are far apart. And there's a lot of land. There's a lot of trees, and there's just I'm talking like it's just land. It's up in the mountains, and there's like a lot of land. So in the night, I've been there at night, and it's so creepy. I'll try to if. I'll try to put some pictures in so you could kind of like understand how the ranch looks like and um, how much land there is. And I'll... And if I have a picture of the house where my parents like lived in the ranch, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the video. I don't know if I have a a picture, but um, I'll try to put it in there so you guys can understand how it looks like. So they got married, and a few days after getting married, obviously Mama had to go live up there, which she didn't want to at all. But I mean, they were married, so they had to. And it was at night, and the restrooms in Mexico, either if it's like in town. Or in the ranch, the bathrooms are usually, like, outside. Unless you, like, do construction and, like, they give you, they like, put a bathroom inside. Um, but, like, sometimes, most of the time, the bathrooms are outside. Especially in the ranch. In the ranch, all the restrooms are outside. So, um, the house is, like, um, it has, like, three rooms. One's, like, the kitchen. And then two of them are, like, um, bedrooms. And you have to, it's not, like built in the house like you could get like out of your room and then you go to the kitchen no like you get out of your room you walk outside and you walk into the other room which is the kitchen so if you want to go to the rest you want to go to the kitchen you have to go walk outside and go to the other room and the bathroom is like you you walk outside you walk down some steps and you walk a little bit further and then there's another um little like like a little house thingy and that's the restroom and there's only a curtain to cover it so it's pretty creepy so it was one night and they were sleeping she was in between like like awake and like still half sleep when she heard like this weird noise and so she kind of like woke up a little bit and then she heard this this horrible thing like this lady just like moaning and she was like terrified she was like moaning and she wouldn't say like some people say like oh i miss like she says i miss hijos but she wasn't saying that she was just like moaning so bad and so creepy and i understand i i understand how creepy that felt because at the video i told you about that i, I heard it's just it's it's really bad and when i showed mom the video she said that's exactly how it sounded so she heard this thing so so horrible and that she froze she couldn't move she couldn't speak she she was gonna she wanted to try to wake my dad up but she just couldn't move or speak so she was there like that for a while and she just went on her blankets and just stay there and later on like when she kind of kind of like speak or like you know move she woke my dad up and like but there was nothing else to hear it was like gone and um and so, like, from there on, she's like, I am done living here. I'm going to go live with my mom. Like, she just didn't want to live there anymore. And they say that if she sounds like she's close, then it's she's far. And that when it sounds like she's far, that means that she's close, which doesn't make sense. But, I mean, that's what they say, which is really creepy because she said that it sounded like it was from far away, but she could hear it so clearly. And that it was just like this this horrible feeling of like I don't know it's just so creepy when she told me that and like yeah she said that she was done that she was like I'm not staying here anymore I'm leaving I'm going to town and I'm staying with my mom because she just it was that bad okay so the third story is um mom didn't she wasn't there or she didn't experience it but her her grandma was the one that experienced this and she told them about it and she remembers about it ever since and like I remember her telling me the story and just really scary. So her grandma, so my mom's uncle, she had an uncle, I forgot his name, but um, he was living with my mom's, um, with my mom's grandma 
and around that time that this happened he was like he did he separated from his wife they divorced or like i think just separated i don't know what happened but they separated they were not together anymore and he started drinking a lot so he started like he was always drunk and one time her her grandma was um it was really late at night and she was really worried because he hasn't he hadn't gotten home and um so she waited a little longer and he still hadn't gotten home so she decided to just go out and try to look for him and where she used to live um there was like a river a little like kind of like her house was like kind of at the corner and there was like a river around there so she went out and she was trying to look for him and she heard something she heard like a, a voice and she was looking around and by the river she saw my aunt's uncle just laying there and he was like passed out he was drunk and um so my grandma she was like walking towards him and um she was anyway she was walking towards him and she she was she got to him and he was just like completely drunk passed out and you know when someone's like really drunk they're really really heavy like heavier than they're just heavy and so she was trying to figure out a way to get him into the house because there's there was nobody else to help her and at the moment so like i said they were by the river he was like laying there and at the moment that she was like she was trying to see how she was going to get him up and carry him she she saw this thing like just like get up from like the water and like i told you the first story was like the like it wasn't like, all black but the the one but when she my when but when my mom's grandma saw her she was in all white you couldn't see her face and long hair and she just she just saw this thing just get up from the water and again wasn't touching the water just flowing um flowing floating and, and you know any normal person would just like run i would run i mean i don't think i'll be able to run i think i'll like faint but like can you just imagine seeing this thing just rise from the water and not like floating and not be able to see the face and this like dressed all in white i mean hell no and that um my grandma was really religious um and she always carried her rosary everywhere she went she had her rosary and instead of running or being scared and she told my girl i remember my mom told me that her grandma told her that she's like i wasn't scared she's like she got her rosary out and she started praying she got on her knees in front of the river where the where the gunner was at um and she just got on her knees and got her rosary out and she started just started praying and praying and praying she looked up and it wasn't there any she wasn't there anymore it, she just she had left and um you know they say the rosaries are very powerful so after that i don't even know how the hell she got her drunk uncle from the floor but they 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 went inside whatever and um yeah then they told she told my mom about what happened and how she saw the Yorana in the water just rising floating and it's like the the feeling you get when you see something like something that is not like a person like skin and bones that's something beyond like the living it's like the craziest it's like the scariest feeling ever so yeah the, these are the three stories that um my mom has told me of La Yorana and the three of them scare the crap out of me. And it's one thing hearing her and being so freaking the voice is just horrible. And it's another thing actually seeing her. Like, no thank you. Like, that's just just creepy. And um oh the another thing I, I think I forgot to say is that um the one where like her grandma saw her by the river and how the river. Um the one where um her her grandma saw her by the river and how she rose. Um that's the same way they they saw um, in the first story with the little kids playing in the river. They saw this lady just rise from the water in all black, and I guess that's how she appears. I don't even know, but yeah, she like rises from the water. She's just like floating, and she just the reason she appears is because she's looking for her kids, and they say they say that um, 
don't go around to the rivers and don't be like in lonely like land and like land that's really lonely or in the dark by the river when it's dark because she might take you and you would never be turned and like i said it's not i didn't experience it my mother experienced it and she's got really good stories that i'm gonna keep i'm gonna do some more story times but um that that's it for this video and if you have experienced it or you know of um someone that experienced something with like or not like let me know down below because i really like I'm a scary cat, but I like I like hearing these kind of things. Like it's just interesting to me, even though I can't sleep for like a couple of days. That is the end of this, this scary story time, creepy, creepy, creepy story time. And make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, um, share and subscribe, so you get notified of when I upload my next creepy story time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.